Good morning, everybody. Got out of work early today. Wanted to do a little tour on my vehicles. Here's my Ninja 650. Yeah, my knees cracked a little bit. They don't hurt, but they crack. Anyways, here's the beasts. Um, there's my new 2017 Accord V6 Coupe. There's my old time uh, daily driver. It's a 2012 Honda Accord Coupe. This one's a four cylinder, a five speed manual. And then here's the beast. It's a 2007 Chevy Corvette base model. It's a 6.0, 400 horsepower. It's got a nice exhaust on it. So uh, probably adds five or 10 horsepower. But um, there they all are. Yeah, I had this Accord for a long time, so I uh, wanted to upgrade. It's fun to drive, nice, but um, this thing is just a beast. Um, so many more features on this one. It has remote start, it has cameras. Look at this, when you turn your uh, turn signal, making a right hand turn, you got a camera in there and uh, it gets a view of your blind sight. Look at this. I do the turn signal and look at this. You get a view right there. That's like the coolest thing ever. On demand. Here they are. My black car here, I had for about five years now. I want to do a little upgrade on it. Um, I'm selling it privately. But uh, this new one is going to be my new daily driver. I love that thing. Such a beast. Especially if you're driving it year round in the winters. It has Apple CarPlay. Plug your phone in and you got a lot of stuff from your phone right on it. All right, check this out. I got the key fob in my pocket. It's not even in my hand. And if I wanna get in this car, I just put my hand behind the handle and it knows. You hear that beep? And it's unlocked. Smart key access, I think they call it. I used to have it in an older uh, Cadillac but I just love the way this works. And then I don't even gotta touch the key now, just do that and it's locked. Had to move it quick so nobody calls the popo on me. There's my two cars right there. This one's for sale, only 64,000 miles on it. Keeping the Corvette. Here's the Corvette interior. By the way, make sure to subscribe. More videos like this. It's got red and black. It's manual. It's got the push to start. Six speed, incredibly tall gears. Hot like a sauna in this car. Parking it behind the house as usual.
fun fact about my Corvette, it's a 2007. Um, the transmission is actually in the back, um, right in between the back wheels for better uh, weight weight distribution because we have a big V8 in the front here. So they put the engine in the front and the transmission in the back. So it uh, does well racing in tracks and whatnot. I think the shifting is not as smooth as it could be if it was bolted right to the engine because of that, but it still does okay. Honda shifters on the other hand, they shift amazing. This one you kind of have to muscle into place sometimes when you want to shift. Here's Old Faithful. Only 64,000 miles on it. Everything is uh, pretty much standard on it. Uh, standard transmission, standard keyhole. Let's start it up and just move it a little bit. One thing it does amazingly well is the shifter shifts effortlessly into any gear. Unlike the Corvette, the Corvette is a little uh, rough with the gear sometimes. But this thing you can shift with like one finger. Check this out. Check this out. Neutral and first gear. That's first right now. There's no way I could do that with my Corvette. But uh, it's been a good five years or so. This was my daily driver and I'm selling it now. So I'm sure I'll get another manual Honda in the future. But for right now, that V6 out there, that's gonna be my new baby, new daily baby. Another thing I've never had before in a car is a backup camera. Every time I put it in reverse, Got a camera showing me where I can go and where I can't. It's uh, pretty handy. I love these exhausts too. They're not loud or anything, but they look way better than the old one. I might upgrade to Magnaflow exhausts in the future, who knows, but for right now, these will do. This thing looks kind of like a Porsche in the back. Porsche style headlight or taillights. The old uh, Porsche Carrera GT, which is like a ultra super car, the shape of these lights look kind of like the one on, on that car. Since I got these three cars, I kind of forgot how fun this thing is. Amazing bike. The suspension is kind of soft. So that allows you to have a blast on city roads. You can drive pretty fast with it and uh, it's like no consequences. Um, it has a lot of power at low RPMs. Tons of power at like 3000 RPM. You got plenty of power and then it just keeps going and going. I love this thing. Definitely gonna ride this thing today. Sunny day out. I used to not be the biggest fan of this color on this bike. I wanted like a gray or red even, but um, it really started to grow on me, especially when it's uh, nighttime or not nighttime, like uh, when it's sunset. It looks amazing when it's a little darker out. Here, I'll show you a picture. Or what it looked like so you can see what I mean but yeah I didn't like this bike the color in the beginning but I really love it now and here's my fifth vehicle 
It's a Genesis 29 inch mountain bike. Amazing to ride. Back wheel is a little uh, messed. Too many burnouts. It's got a ringer. Then got a little rear view mirror here. 21 speed. Amazing fun on this thing. Zero, zero point two five horsepower. Got to clean it up a little bit. Just took it out of the basement, but um, I'm gonna put a few miles on it today. A little extras I got: bottle holder, a little waterproof bag in the back in case uh, the rain hits. I get put my phone right in there. Gel seat cover. And that's that. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. And I'll catch you next time.